Lily's here today for Lawn Fawn and today's project I'm going to create a little interactive card that holds a gift card using the Sprinkled With Joy stamp set as well as its core name dies and also the add-on dies and I'm also going to be pulling in the winter big scripty words for my sentiment or part of my sentiment today since I really love that set since it has its own core name dies it's very versatile and I really love using that on my holiday cards. So I'm going to start out by stamping out my little oven and also a tray with a couple of cookies on there and I just stamped that down in jet black ink from Lawn Fawn since that is a Copic friendly ink or any alcohol marker friendly ink and I also stamped it on some Nina Solo White cardstock since that is my favorite for Copic coloring. So I'm going to begin by starting out with some greys to colour in my little oven since I want it to sort of look stainless steel and also the colour scheme I'm going to be using today is um, a favourite of mine and it's teal, yellow and grey and so I got the sort of colour combination inspiration from the paper I'm going to use and that's from the perfectly plaid a chill paper pad and um, it's one of my absolute favorites. I love all the yellows and teals in there. It's such an unexpected combination for a winter card but it works so so well. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to be pulling my inspiration, my color inspiration from that paper pad and I'm also going to be bringing in some gray since as I said before it's one of my favorite color combinations. So I'm first starting out with coloring my oven in with some gray markers. So I started off with C5 as my darkest shade, went in where I thought Think the darkest areas would be then I moved down to my C3 and sort of pulled that C5 out and blended it out a little bit and then as my lightest shade I'm going to be using C1 and that's just to color in the rest of the area um, and to blend all of those colors together really well so it looks like a really seamless blend I really love using cool grays for like appliances and things like that and robots um, since I feel like it's a lot more realistic and it sort of looks like metal so once I've coloured in my oven, I'm going to be colouring in some of the little accents on the oven with the teal sort of colour, aqua. Um, so I'm colouring in the little buttons or the knobs and the sort of screen on the oven with my uh, blues. So I'm using BG13, BG23 and BG11. Then for the little line sort of connecting all the buttons and the screen together, the handle and the outside of the glass, I'm going to be using my yellow. So I'm first starting off with Y19, going in where I think the darkest areas would be, then pulling in my Y13 as my mid-tone to blend out that Y19 a little bit. And then once I've finished with that colour, I'm moving on to Y11 to blend it all together and to give a nice seamless blend. So once I've coloured in that, I've left the glass of the oven um, white since that's going to mainly be cut out when I use the Cornane dies so um, I didn't bother coloring that and then for this little tray this is just going to be inside of the oven so I didn't go with the color scheme that I used on the outside since you're not one you're not really going to see this and two once you remove the gift card this is going to be attached to it so um, you're not really going to see this later anyway because once you remove the gift card um, you won't add the tray back into the oven so um, it worked out fine to use like the traditional colors of green for the trees and red for the heart um, it worked out really well so once I colored those in I also went in with some more cool grays but sort of a darker um, tone of them so I took out the C1 and replaced it with C7 so it's a little bit darker and again that's just because um, it didn't really matter. I didn't want it to be the same color as the oven and because it was going inside of the oven it was going to be muted down by the vellum I add over top anyway. So now I'm using the quinine dies to cut out all of my images. So I'm using the add-on dies to cut out the oven and the little flag or the tag piece and um, also I color a couple of other items and then I also used the quinine dies to cut out the tray and the little heart I colored with some yellow Copic markers, the same yellows I used for the oven. Then I also pulled in some peacock and sunflower cardstock to cut out an additional handle and also a tea towel. Then I also finally cut out this little white piece here with a little notch on it and that's going to help close my oven once it's all assembled. So now I'm going to cut this little vellum piece to fit inside of my oven to cover up that big gap that it made um, 
when I use the add-on dies and so I just cut that down to a size and then I'm going to adhere it onto the back of this oven using some score tape and so that sort of mutes whatever is inside so you won't see it as well which is what I wanted then I'm going to adhere down my little handle and this is the one cut from sunflower cardstock and this comes in the add-on die set and I'm just going to use tiny bits of score tape to adhere this over the um, other handle and this is just going to help open and close my oven and it sort of gives it a little bit of nice dimension as well and then this is the other piece I was talking about that has the little notch over it so I'm just going to flip my oven over and adhere the straight edge with the notch hanging out uh, to the bottom of the top of the oven and then it can with the notch hanging over you can flip under the um, door of the oven and it will keep it closed then I just adhere the little teal tea towel onto my handle and also adhere the yellow heart at over the top of the tea towel with some foam tape so once all of those are adhered together, I also use some perfectly plaid chill paper pad and um, so I just pulled out a straight um, plaid pattern out of there with the teal and the yellow um, on there and then I also cut out a scalloped rectangle just out of some more white cardstock and so I just traced around the gift card and cut out the size that I needed to be able to slip in and out my gift card so you can see here that um, I just made some notches cut around with an exacto knife and then here you can see my gift card fits in perfectly so then I adhered down my oven onto the white piece just with some more score tape and now I'm going to go around the perimeter of my gift card on the back of the panel with foam tape so my gift card fits in there nice and snug and it's not going to fall out anywhere. So once I went ahead and adhered the adhesive or the foam adhesive all around the outside on the back of my panel I just stamped the Be Merry sentiment from Winter Big Scripty Words and also used the quinine dies to cut that out then once I had gone ahead and done that I cut a tiny strip of sunflower cardstock and then used the um, may your holidays be sentiment from sprinkled with joy but I used some washi tape to mask off the B sentiment or B word and just stamped may your holidays because then my other sentiment says be merry so I just stamped that down in some black ink trimmed off the sides and now I'm adhering both of my sentiments with some more frame tape now I'm just lining up my gift card inside of my oven and then adhering down my entire panel onto my background right in the center. I did adhere down my gift card onto my oven with a little bit of washi tape just to adhere it easier. So here you can see um, that this is how the oven opens up and the gift card pops out. It's really easy. And then I also tied this open me sentiment on the little banner with some um, teal uh, lawn trimmings that I had in my stash and so I just tied that on with a bow onto the handle and this finishes up my card so you can see here that um, you just slip your finger into the side I found this a little bit easier to open then again just slip out the gift card on the side as well and that is how the whole gift card holder works. I think it turned out really cute and um, a really great way to give a gift card in the holiday season. Giving gift cards is one of my favourite gifts to give during the holiday time if you don't really know what to buy that person. And so this would work really well if you were giving like a coffee shop gift card or like a restaurant gift card. Sort of fits in the theme with the whole oven thing. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my project today and I will catch you on next time thanks so much for watching